Hi everybody, it's May 13, 2016. Sad to report another holistic doctor slash professor found stabbed to death in her home. I learned this from Richie from Boston and I will link below to his video. But if you want to stay updated on how many holistic doctors are dying under very mysterious circumstances, unfortunately circumstances that police are not investigating, so their families are having to hire private investigators, I suggest bookmarking Health Nut News. Aaron also has a YouTube channel, Health Nut News. You might want to subscribe to it. But here we have yet another holistic doctor. 76 years old, a retired holistic doctor who then became a professor at Quincy College in Boston, in uh, Massachusetts, found dead in her home. She taught classes on the subjects of biology. She devoted grandmother former foster mother to at least 20 children. Uh, the, the suspect in this case is a Tyler Hagmeyer, 24. He was her neighbor. And they're alleging that he was mentally unstable, though at least one relative of Hagmeyer said she had no information about any mental health problems he may have dealt with. But his Toyota Prius was discovered Friday evening on the French Key King Bridge over the Connecticut River in Gill. The investigators searched for Hagmeyer's body in the river. They can't find it. The weather wasn't cooperating. But yeah, okay, so out of the blue, this Tyler Hagmeyer decides to stab to death his neighbor and then what? Jump off the bridge? And now he's dead? Having drowned in this body of You know, it's, listen, you listen to the facts of these cases, or you read the facts of these cases, and you're like, okay, lots of questions here, need investigation, case closed. So many of these cases of holistic doctors that have died, either being claimed suicide, when families are coming out and saying, uh-uh, uh-uh, no depression here. There was no indication of any kind of suicide. Obvious that they were murdered, Police are closing the cases. And in every article on Health Nut News of these holistic doctors who are being found dead, Aaron writes of more. I, I, it's overwhelming. Here in this article, Aaron writes, this case reminds us in some ways of the very recent tragic case of Dr. Han. His he and his family were found dead in their home just weeks ago, and soon thereafter, authorities said a young white male was the suspect. That particular suspect, having no prior record, and he lived with his father, who was ex-CIA. Another case of an osteopath who was found stabbed to death in her Pennsylvania home just months ago. No suspects, no motive, no, uh, no motive here in the case of Dr. Rasmussen's stabbing. I meant to do a video on this a couple of weeks ago, and I, I just, it's overwhelming everything that is going on today. But here, Dr. Rose Pauls, Paul, Paul, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm sorry. 25 years old, pulled from a body of water from the sea after she went missing for two months. She, a doctor in England. 25 years old, mysteriously found dead in body of water, no witnesses. She apparently walked off her job in a stress state where she worked at a hospital in Devon, England. She was missing for about two months. Police later recover her body from the sea. And based on the information that I read in this article, she was clearly not a yes girl. She was clearly not one to just go along to get along. She on Facebook posted messages. Um, she was in support of a strike for junior doctors. She had a hashtag, not fair, not safe. She was clearly a thorn in the authorities side. Now she's dead. I'll link below to this article that Erin has posted here, recap on my unintended series, The Holistic Doctor Deaths. This was posted in March. These are the pictures of all the doctors 
that have mysteriously died. Holistic doctors. And this is as of March. There are more since she posted this article. But just even looking at this list, look at the dates. I mean, is it a coincidence or are holistic doctors just unlucky? June 19th, Dr. Bradstreet is found with a gunshot wound to his chest. He is found in a river. Two days later, two chiropractors are found dead. A few more days later, another doctor found murdered in her home. A couple of more days later, Patrick Fitz, Patrick, he's found miss, he was, he goes missing, and then he's found on the side of the road. A week later, another doctor, holistic doctor, with a gunshot wound to her head. A few more days later, uh, another doctor was found murdered in his East Coast Florida home. Two days later, Nicholas Gonzalez, a holistic doctor, dies suddenly. The same day, another holistic doctor is also found dead. I mean, it, it just goes on and on. These families are having to hire private investigators to investigate their deaths because the police are closing the cases. That in itself begs an awful lot of questions. No, I don't believe, I do not believe that this is just a coincidence that we have so many holistic do doctors being murdered or suicided. I'll link below to all of the articles. But, Jesus, think about the family and friends, the loved ones of all of these who have died mysteriously and what they're going through. Rest in peace, Rose. Rest in peace, Dr. Rasmussen.